Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm not really a big fan of meta weapons in almost any shooting game, but I know for a fact that a lot of players actually prefer to go down the easy route and just play the most powerful weapon in order to get the maximum performance. If you are not a meta player, make sure to check out the video that pops up right now on the top right corner. This video gives you the top 10 most underrated weapons in Battlefield 2042 and you don't want to miss out on that. Anyways, today I'm here to give you the meta weapons in every category of weapons in Battlefield 2042. So like one meta LMG, one meta AR, and so on. And I'm gonna give you the best attachments for them as well. So let's not waste more time and get straight to the point. Starting off with the SMGs, if I was making this video like six months ago, I would consider the PP29 to be the meta SMG, but right now and with the current state of Battlefield 2042, I believe the AC9 deserves the title. You really come across a lot of players using this weapon in the CQB maps, and rightfully so. This thing with the close combat ammo has a TTK of 223 milliseconds, making it one of the fastest killing weapons in less than 20 meters in the entire game. I'm pretty sure I'll be in the comment section arguing with people who defend the K30, but believe it or not, even though the K30 has a higher rate of fire, the damage of AC9 compensates for that perfectly, and ultimately the AC9 has a faster TTK. AC9 has also the second highest fire rate among all the SMGs, so all in all, it's a complete package. For attachments, I always rather have a wrap suppressor on my SMGs, and AC9 is no exception. For under barrel, I'd stick to the STNR laser sight to make the hip fire accuracy even better. For ammo, I'd stick to close combat extended first to get the fastest TTK and some more ammo. Then for the second slot, I stick to subsonic and then close combat. Generally speaking, just avoid standard issue. Uh, since it provides a slower TTK and we don't really want that. Lastly, the weapon sight, which is your own preference, and here's how the setup looks like. Moving on to assault rifle, and I was really hesitant whether I want to choose SCAR or RM68 for the title, and after giving it a second thought, the Meta AR title goes to the SFAR MGL, better known as the SCAR. This weapon has been used by a majority of Battlefield players in the past decade, but in 2042, the weapon has an exceptional damage model, making it a viable choice in almost any given range. The muzzle velocity of this weapon is comparable to SWS, which is a sniper rifle, and this is just crazy for an AR. That's why a lot of people use higher magnification scopes to hit targets at longer ranges as well with the SCAR. Also, there is a grenade launcher on this thing, making it strong against both infantry and vehicles. For some reason, this grenade launcher is not replaceable, but it is what it is and it just makes it better. So no complaints there. All in all, it's a multi-use killing machine and that makes it a better choice than the RM68. Alright, now moving on to attachments. This weapon has a slightly strong horizontal recoil, so to compensate for that, you better use the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake and also pair it with the extended barrel for when you need to hit targets at longer ranges. For under barrel, I'd like to have the armor piercing, the high explosive, and the incendiary as my ammo types. For the weapon's ammo, high power drum is the best option since you have the maximum damage with maximum rounds per mag, then go for the standard issue and then high power. Weapon sight is up to you, but here's my favorite with a picture of the setup right here. Before we determine the LMG meta weapon, now that you've watched the video to this point, I want you to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more guides like this on Battlefield games and news about other FPS games so you won't miss out on the future videos of the channel. So, next up, and for LMGs, I don't think this is a hard choice, the meta LMG title goes straight to DFR Strife, which is the AWS from BF4. This weapon is the latest LMG in the game, and arguably the best one. With a muzzle velocity comparable to sniper rifles, which is around 1000 meters per second, and a completely manageable recoil, this weapon is now being literally abused in the entire Battlefield 2042 lobbies. Like, every time someone kills you in an instant, that has to be the DFR. Comparing this to other LMGs, the only issue is ammo capacity. Most of the LMGs in 2042 hold 200 rounds per mag, but the DFR Strife can manage 90 rounds at best. Nevertheless, it's a fair trade in my opinion, and you shouldn't be worried about that. For attachments, DFR does have some horizontal recoil as well, so an Arkham Tactical Muzzle Break should be a good choice. Also, you need a wrap suppressor for when you want to do a small flank, but if you want to go completely off the radar, then take the Type 4 Heavy Suppressor, and you can combine that later with the subsonic rounds. For under barrel, LWG Grip is a great choice here for more accuracy while aiming down sights, and you should pair it with a bipod for some accurate suppressive fire. For ammo, I'd go with high power first to get the maximum potential of the weapon, then the standard issue belt fed, and then subsonic belt fed. You can use the Type 4 Heavy and subsonic to go invisible on the minimap as well, so do keep that in mind. Weapon sight is up to you, 
but here is my favorite to have on the DFR Strife with a picture of the setup right here. Now it's DMR's turn, and the king of this category without a second thought is the SVK. Being a two-shot kill in under 100 meters, not only you can dominate in medium range, but you also have the power and accuracy to reach longer ranges, and by longer ranges, I mean going beyond 400 meters. This thing can really be a sniper hunter in the right hands, and trust me, if you get used to it, nothing can stop you. There's also a glitch with the SVK that many of the players don't even know about it, and it's really weird that DICE hasn't fixed it yet. If you use the standard issue rounds, the fire rate on shortened and extended barrel will be the same, meaning there is no logical reason to use the shortened barrel since it decreases the muzzle velocity, and instead you should be running the extended one to get more velocity for the exact same fire rate. With that in mind, let's take a look at the attachments. First of all, you need to have the extended barrel to take advantage of the existing glitch, and as long as DICE doesn't fix it, you're free to do so. Then for under barrel, you gotta go with the LWG grip, then the armor piercing grenade launcher to have a chance against enemy armor as well, and then a bipod for when you need to engage at longer ranges. Moving on to ammo, standard issue extended, then standard issue, and then high power should do the trick. Just keep in mind that in order to benefit from the glitch, you need standard ammo to be equipped. Use whatever scope you want on this weapon, and here's how the setup should look like. Moving on to the sniper rifles and the meta weapon here isn't really my favorite weapon. Most of the times, the fight for the meta title in this category is between the SWS and the DXR, and according to what I've seen people playing, the SWS deserves the title. People have good reasons to prefer this over the DXR. First of all, this weapon is just faster than the DXR. Yes, it has more drop as well, but it's not as sluggish, and the SWS has always been like a middle line for every quality a sniper rifle can offer. Unlike most of the weapon categories in Battlefield 2042, for sniper rifles, the number one critical factor is muzzle velocity, because it shows how accurate that weapon can be, and I'll try to get the most amount of muzzle velocity out of this weapon. Also, the SWS has a trump card in close range gunfights, which is nothing more than the Master Key, which is a super powerful under battle shotgun, and gives you the edge in CQB situations. All in all, I would say every 6 out of 10 snipers I come across in 2042 use the SWS. So now, let's go straight to the attachments. You should go for the extended barrel and that's it. Don't even think about using a suppressor on a weapon like this because it'll ruin the experience. For under barrel, you'll need the BCG of light grip for more accuracy, then master key for those close range scenarios, a set of bipods for long range accurate shooting. For ammo, you gotta go for the high power first. Trust me, it is way more efficient than the standard issue simply because of the velocity. Extended barrel and high power rounds combined, you can increase the muzzle velocity to 1120 meters per second, which is a decent number for this weapon. Then go for standard issue extended, and then standard issue rounds should do the trick. Put on any scope that you are comfortable with, and you should be good to go. All right, now for tactical weapons, we have a railgun, which is nowhere to be found in the real world, but somehow it's been a part of Battlefield 4 and now a main weapon in Battlefield 2042. This weapon, as you guys probably know, has got three firing modes, single, burst, and full auto. There are some fascinating facts about this weapon. So the muzzle velocity on this thing, to be precise, is 6,740 meters per second, which is just insane. For a scale, the best velocity you can get with the DXR, best sniper rifle in the game when it comes to muzzle velocity, is around 1300 meters per second. Knowing that, if you consider playing with this weapon as a sniper, you're gonna need no compensation for the bullet drop and no matter how far the target is, anywhere you aim, the projectile goes. This is by far the most overpowered weapon in 2042 and probably has the highest muzzle velocity in the entire Battlefield franchise. Also, some people like myself use the full auto capacitor and turn it into an assault rifle. I wouldn't say it's the best AR out there, but it would still do the job. So don't even think about arguing about this one in the comment section. I mean, I'm just kidding, but let's go to the attachments. There's nothing you can put on the barrel, but for under barrel, choose one based on how you want to play. I always use the stream capacitor and then the high power capacitor because I want it to perform like an AR. Avoid the burst fire since it's really not a good idea. It really doesn't make sense. Let's just leave it at that. No choice on the ammo type and that's gonna be it. We're gonna leave it at that. And put up your favorite scopes on the weapon and it should be ready to roll. And for the last category, it's time to come back to the secondary weapons. There might be a lot of controversy here, but in my opinion, nothing beats the Desert Eagle. Being a two-shot kill in close range, the Deagle serves as a reliable handgun that can instantly kill an enemy 
even with body shots. Some might want to argue that the G57 is the better choice, but I still think the Deagle can excel in a face-to-face -face gunfight. For the attachments, use an LS1 laser sight for more hip fire accuracy. For ammo, I prefer the close combat for more fire rate at close range. Just put a red dot sight on the weapon and the setup should be complete and ready to go, looking like this. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Go down in the comment section, let me know what you think the meta weapons should have been. And generally, I'm always open to constructive criticism, so feel free to let me know what you think. Until next time, guys, stay cool.